You find something there. You know what I'm saying? You find a vibrant you there. By the name of Caleb. In verse 30 of that place, he said, Let us go up immediately. We are able to take them. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Now that's a positive confession, a positive use. Today, my task is to talk on the challenges of youth, of youth and temples. Contemporary society. The time table you gave me on the program didn't be good time, but I have an idea as a technique. We see how best we can use that technique. Now don't try to take too much food because you will not be able to catch up with me. But I'll make the text of the message available to your president by mail. You will make an email to this rabbi. But it's good to write a scripture that you think applies to you down by your own hand. Up front. And believe in God that you put the sentence together for somebody. If the word gives you as the remember, God's vibrant truth for you at this moment. It's fresh, giving word for you at this moment, and in your own circumstances, you may also want to note that. So you cannot take a verbatim record of the message. Let us bow our hearts now as we enthrone the Lord before we proceed. So, my last Father, we thank you for another opportunity to feed your land. Jesus, you are the great shepherd. You are the shepherd of all shepherds. I submit myself to you. You are my shepherd. Take absolute control. Provide the food, the spiritual food for this one. Let their ears be open, let their hearts be attentive. Take absolute control of your spirit, man. I enjoy you in this meeting. In the name of God the Father, in the name of God the Son, in the name of God the Holy Spirit. And I invite the partnership of the Holy Spirit. To give me utterances for these great people before me. Thank you, my loving Father, because I have faith that you will answer my prayer. Because I pray in the mighty Lord prayer. The name, the great and mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. So, the first thing we are going to do is we are going to look at a few definitions. The first is what is the challenge? Challenges of youth in contemporary society. I will not go much on the challenge. The challenge is the general term referring to things that are in the book in the sense of difficulty and victory. The challenge is the general term referring to things that are in the book in the sense of difficulty and victory. This means that there is both an opportunity and a threat in a situation becomes the challenge. The challenge is the sense that there are dangers. But if you overcome those dangers, there is a case, there is profit. So that's the challenge. The challenge, the general term, we to things that are in the sense of difficulty and victory. You can see the difficulty comes before the victory. So there's an overcoming to be done before you can reap the profit. Praise the Lord. Now, this is a positive definition. Pessimist and negative minded people will say it's a problem. But we are positive minded people and we are saying it's a challenge. Now, there are several challenges facing the youth of nowadays. The five people, who are the youth? There are several definitions for youth, and there is no real correct definition, as we soon see. One, youth is the time of life when one is young. But often means the time between childhood and adulthood. Definitions of the specific age range that constitute youth baby. An individual sexual majority may not correspond to their chronological age, as same as pure 
individuals they exist at every age. Youth is therefore defined as the appearance, freshness, vigor, spirit, etc., characteristics of one who is young. Youth is defined as appearance, vigor, freshness, spirit, etc., characteristics of one who is young. So, when they are talking of youth around the world, they refer to the time between childhood and adulthood. It's a very big definition. What definition? Sometimes adolescents, teenagers, kids, young persons are all involved in this group. Youth can refer to the entire time of life when one is young, including the childhood. Or in fact, the study to the time that neither childhood nor adulthood, or rather something between. From the age of puberty, you can begin to talk about the youth. It terminates at an in marriage. Praise the Lord. It's important to know this. Youth identify with a particular mindset of attitude. When they say it's very useful. What we are saying is, is thinking like a young person. The Bible says, as the thing gets so easy. Youth is also defined as a social position. The social position, that's why you have the youth of Akwa Abbott, the youth of Nigeria chapter, the youth of uh, Akwa Abbott state, the youth of Nigeria. The social position is a very powerful one for that matter. We have to say in my language that the child is young, the old is young, is how we combine the wisdom to establish it. The youth have a very powerful role to play in any society. So they are not saying that youth cannot be defined as a time of life because the age issue is a problem. So they now define youth in focus on the social process of transformation from an adolescent to an adult. The social process of transformation they say this is a youth process. But it was difficult to fit into a time of life. The late American Senator Bob Kennedy said. This world demands the qualities of youth, not a time of life, but a state of mind, a temper of the will, a quality of imagination, a predominance of courage over timidity, of the appetite for adventure over the life of ease. This was why I cited Caleb as the most shining example. A predominance of courage over timidity. When people start doing that and start getting cultured, they say, well, it's getting old. It's now being kept. But the youth is not known for that. Hallelujah. The very important thing that we must know that ties in with the song, I Know Who I Am, that Shinak song that was used to render by Hallelujah Youth Choir, is that youth is a state of constructing the self concept. This is why I say your, your deficits are defined in your youth year. It's a state of constructing the self concept. The concept of youth is influenced by several variables such as fear, pleasure, lifestyle, gender, and culture. It is the time in the person's life which they make the choices which will affect the future. This is the definition of world. That is not the time of life, but a series of attributes that we are looking for. A certain mindset that we're looking for. A process. So, but what, the church, what does the church say a youth is? In the church, we look at the youth as an unmarried person. Between the ages of 18 years and say 40 years or 25 years. An unmarried person. 